unit conversions Pac-Man analogy. If we want to go from one unit to another unit in physics class, we have to use Christine's way. First, we have different unit conversion cards. Then second, you have one unit that you're starting with and another unit that you're trying to convert the number to. And then the first thing that you do when you have one number on one side of the page and the unit that you're converting to on the other side, you put that first number over one. So if you're trying to convert one meter to centimeters, you put one meter over one. Fourth, you find a card that has your first unit on the op opposite side of the fraction so that those two units cancel each other out. In other words, if there's one unit on one side of a fraction and the same unit on the other side of the, of the fraction, the Pac-Man will eat it up. For example, if we are trying to get 20 centimeters into meters, this is what you would do. 20 centimeters over 1 times 1 meter over 100 centimeters. Because now the centimeters cancel each other out, and we're trying to convert it into meters, and now the unit that we have left is meters. Then the pattern, pattern continues until you're left with just the unit that you're converting it to. After that, you multiply the numbers together that are on the top and divide the numbers that are on the bottom. So if we're left with 20 centimeters over 1 times 20 over 1 times 1 meter over 100, then, and the meter is the unit that we want, so you don't have to multiply or divide the 1, so we just do 20 divided by 100 because 100 is on the bottom, which equals 0.2 meters. Now let's do a problem with a couple more steps. So if we start with 25 meters and we want to try to get it into inches, first we put it over 1, so it's 25 meters over 1. Then we have to find a card with meters on the opposite side of the fraction. So we do multiply by 100 centimeters over 1 meter. Now the meters cross, cancel each other out, and we're left with 100 centimeters. Now we want to try to cancel out the centimeters, and we need the centimeters to be on the other side of the equation. So we do 1 inch over 2.54 centimeters, but the centimeters cancel each other out. Now we're left with inches. So, and that is what we are trying to convert the problem to. So what we do now is we multiply 25 times 100, because those are both on the top of the equation, and divide by 2.54, because that's on the bottom of the equation. And the answer is 984.25 inches. Thank you. Yeah.